that matters. Fox 40 News at 5 starts now. Usually we're watching the East Coast, not this time. Thousands are bracing for Hurricane Willa tonight as that Category 4 storm continues to move very quickly towards the coastline of Mexico. Let's take a live look here. That storm is expected to hit part of Vallarta later tonight. So this is a live look at what things are looking like right now. Obviously, people are preparing for strong winds and that heavy rain that this Cat 4 is going to bring. A little breezy right now. You can see some gray clouds there, but tomorrow, very likely at this time, it is going to be a very, very different picture. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Eric Harriman. And I'm sincere. Jerry Tonsil in tonight for Nikki Lorenzo. Experts say many residents and visitors are bracing for the worst tonight. Fox 40's Doug Johnson joins us now live and he tells us what scientists at UC Davis and tourists in Puerto Vallarta are saying this evening. Hi, Doug. Yeah, so Sarah, you really don't hear about too many hurricanes in the Pacific, but we did come here to UC Davis, talk to some uh, scientists who tell us that, you know, you do have hurricanes in the Pacific. They're just not usually this far north, but they do worry that this storm could be devastating. And it was at least uh, one Northern Californian who we spoke with who's in Mexico tonight tells us she's hoping for the best. It's a very touristy area. Um, there's a lot of resorts in this area. Uh, Originally from Marysville, Alex yeah. Mazzaroli and her friends picked an unfortunate time to vacation in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, as Hurricane Willa strengthened overnight to become a Category 5 storm. Those conditions have since eased a bit, but people in the storm's path are getting ready for all possibilities. It was raining a little bit earlier, but it's pretty wet outside, but everything's pretty calm. Even the water looks pretty calm, but definitely at the resort, uh, you can tell some of the staff are on edge a little bit. Mazzaroli shared these videos with us as the resort she's staying at braces for what could be a long night, as well as expected to make landfall in the next 12 hours. They advised us that if like, we need to, they will direct us to some safe havens around the resort um, that guests can go to to make sure they're in a safe spot. It's going to be windy, that's for sure. I can't imagine there's going to be a whole lot of storm surge, not like we saw with Michael, for instance. Paul Ulrich is an associate professor of regional climate modeling at UC Davis. He says it was unusual how Willa blew up, greatly increasing in size in just a few days. This is a phenomenon associated with hurricanes known as rapid intensification, and it's not particularly well understood. Meanwhile, local Red Cross volunteers say they're ready to help in the recovery efforts, but so far the Mexican government has not asked for assistance. You know, if they have the manpower and the financial resources to get the job done, then no, we would not receive that request. Meanwhile, already unable to go in the ocean today or spend much time outside, Mazzaroli hopes Willa won't ruin her vacation any more than it already has. They think it's headed this way. Maybe it will just change course. That'd be kind of awesome. And Mazzaroli tells us that she's already gotten several travel warning alerts from Southwest Airlines telling her that her flight home on Thursday might get canceled because of the hurricane. Uh, meanwhile, that professor you just heard from, again, he says that you really don't get a lot of hurricanes that far north in the Pacific because the water is usually too cold for them. But again, as climate change uh, continues, he says that this could become more and more common. Reporting live on the campus of UC Davis tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Doug, thank you so much.